Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, excuse my nails. I mentioned it in another video. I tried a new top coat and it peeled off my nail polish. Wow, what a useless top coat. <laughs> I hate when top coats do that. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you my updated everyday makeup routine because a lot of things have changed. I tried a new foundation and concealer and I am in love. So we're gonna use it today. I've been doing this routine for two months now and I love it. This is perfect for oily skin. So if you have oily skin, boo i got you this is for you so i went to cvs the other day and i realized that they got makeup revolution yay i've always wanted to try it but i don't like to shop at ulta don't come at me i love drugstore makeup so when i saw this at the store i was like yes for something that's not matte i didn't think i was gonna like it but wow i got this in the shade f7 if you're curious and usually i just start on my t-zone then I'm going to take my Real Techniques beauty sponge and blend it out. Also, if you see me looking over here, it's because my mirror is right there, okay guys? Always blend down your neck, especially if it's not going to match you. And you guys already know I make stupid faces all the time when I do my makeup, so whatever. You guys see the difference already? Wow. It honestly covers really good. I always do my makeup in sections because you never know with foundations so that they're gonna like dry out on you soon. Cause some are not very hydrating. And then I'm used to it because I use matte stuff all the time and those you gotta work quick. And I always bring my foundation on my eyelids and down my neck. Check out my shirt. Anyone watch Riverdale? I am obsessed. Especially at first. The first season was like, oh, don't y'all hate when you have like eyelashes stuck everywhere? Ugh. I just love how easy it is to blend out. Like what in the world? And it lasts all day. It has good coverage. What more do you want? You guys like the setup? Let me know. I realized that YouTubers have gotten used to doing their makeup from afar instead of being close up to a mirror, which is why I couldn't get the angles right. But I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay, and that's it for foundation. Normally, if I'm in a rush, I just put on powder and skip concealer. But since I have time, I'll do concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. And this is in the color C1. This is really light, but I kind of like it because it highlights. <laughs> okay, so I heard this was like a do for the sharp shape tape, which I could not afford. So I got it and OMG. It is so full coverage, it kind of scares me. Like, I don't know how girls, they'll be like, like, oh my god, I put a little bit and that goes a long way. So just be careful. So I put like that much. I do one eye at a time. And then I kind of drag it to my nose. And then I go up into my brow bone. Then I take a little bit and put it on my chin. Like literally that much. <laughs> a little goes a long way. For powder, my trusty old Milani Conceal and Perfect in 01 Fair. I love this stuff. I did like this one a lot, but I've noticed it's creasing on me a lot. So today I'm going to try it out on top of this one. So I'm going to use this all over and then dust this on top because this did help with oiliness. So I'm going to do that and see if that works out. I also use this LA Girl Puff. It came with my highlighter or something. I use it because it's like fabric, so I could throw it in the washer and you're good. Always make sure that you don't have any crease lines before you set your under eyes. I'm just going to go in and tap it on. And then the other eye. And then I just go all over. Also, the L'Oreal one, as you guys saw in my other video, which if you didn't, I'll link it right here. Um, that one was too light. <laughs> that one was way too light. So, this one is my perfect shade. So, I'll put the other one on top just to control my oiliness. Did you guys like that powder, the L'Oreal one? Did you find it creased on you too, or...? What are your thoughts? I also feel like the other one looks super powdery compared to this one. 
I also put powder on my eyelids, but I make sure there's no creasing. Always make sure there's no creasing. Now I'm gonna take this Luxie 512 brush and I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Powder and sweep it all over. Now we're gonna go into bronzer. I'm gonna be using this Real Techniques Contour Brush. I'm also gonna be using this crown brush, which is fluffier. And for bronzer, I'll be using the Revlon Skin Light in the color 115 Sunkissed Beam. I like this because it has a sheen, but it's not glittery. So I really like the effect this gives. I always start with my forehead. Any other people with big foreheads out there? Say holla. I used to be insecure about my forehead. Now I don't care. I don't really contour. I just kind of bronze up my face. With the same brush, I do the sides of my nose. I don't really mind my nose. It's just a little wide, so I just put a little bit, nothing crazy. And then since I don't do eyeshadow, I literally just take this brush and go like that. Just so my eyelid doesn't look all white compared to the rest of my body. Which some girls don't care, so it's just up to you, it's just preference. And then I take the crown brush and I put it down my neck. I do this because I have a double chin. <laughs> Uh, you guys are gonna think I'm weird. Being normal is vastly overrated. After I do my face, I put on some type of chapstick. I have this NYX Sativa lip oil just because my lips are always dry. And that way I can prep for if I decide to put on lipstick or not. Now, for brows, I don't fill them in anymore. I just go in with my e.l.f. Wow Brow. This one's in the color Deep Brown. I don't know if you can see, but it has like little fibers. So those help, so I don't have to fill them in. It kind of like fills them in for me. I have decent eyebrows, so maybe if you don't have enough eyebrow hair, then this might not work. And if you have really bushy eyebrows, oh girl, you're gonna look great. I wish I had nicer eyebrows. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but basically I'm kind of brushing up and with the same gel that's on the brush, I kind of form it. I don't know if you guys can see how I'm forming the eyebrow so it doesn't look as skinny. So you see the difference? So there's one eyebrow done. I'm gonna do the other one and then I'll come back because that was kind of hard. Now I'm gonna take this eyeshadow palette from Hard Candy. It's called Glitter Vibes in 1676. I bought this for Coachella and for festivals because I like to put those glittery ones on my cheeks. They're so pretty, especially this one. It's like multicolored, but I always use this white color in my inner corner. You are gonna see right now, it is chef's kiss i'm just gonna apply it with this coastal sands detail brush and i just go in my inner corner you see that ah it's so bright i used to put highlighter but i found that this works way better i've noticed that if i don't do my eyeshadow but i do my brow bone and inner corner people automatically think i did they think i tried when i didn't now i'm gonna take this concealer brush from coastal sands and apply the same eyeshadow but under my brow bone like that now for mascara i'll be using the maybelline sky high it is now my favorite one if you haven't seen my video i reviewed it i'll link it up here you should go watch it this is amazing go buy it again i'm gonna do this off camera because it's hard if you want to see how it applies go ahead and watch that video i'll link it down below now for blush i'll be using the butter blush in rosy pink it's like a really light pink purple shade and i love it i think this brush was from crown 2 the name kind of came off so just any fluffy brush like this i like fluffy brushes for blush because then if you put a lot it won't go in one spot and then you have that one spot you can't blend out i hate that this way it's loosely put on I also like this blush because it's so light that you can go heavy handed and you can just apply as much as you need and it builds up instead of having a color that's like whew, and then you gotta figure out what to do because you already put it on. For highlighter, I'll be using this Morphe highlighting brush. Mine's all bent because I took it somewhere and it didn't fit in the bag. But it still works. And I'll be taking my Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette. I love this. I use this every day. I usually take the color Flash. I love this. 
and down my nose and on my cupid's bow then i do my setting spray before my lips i just like to do it that way i don't know why and i'll be using the milani make it last matte setting spray I still do the same thing guys if you know what I'm talking about it's from my first everyday makeup I'll link it on top <laughs> if anyone wants to buy me a little fan my cash app is in the description <laughs> okay guys now that my face is done let's go ahead and do the lips and finish up the video I'll be putting on this flower lip smoothie I love this if you want to see my review on this I'll link it up here I like this because of the tint and it's so moisturizing okay that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this is the final look it's super wearable honestly if you want to amp it up just put on some false eyelashes some red lipstick and you look a bomb it's something that's super wearable with anything honestly what are your staples in your everyday makeup let me know in the comments below also don't forget to comment like and subscribe every time you guys subscribe you guys make my day so thank you to everyone and hi to all the new people and remember if you give it a thumbs up and comment you're engaging with me which helps bring my videos out to the youtube world so help a girl out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.